Welcome back to CBS 4K, and this is Chaos Gate Demon Hunters Duty Eternal. Uh, this is the first DLC for Chaos Gate. I don't know if it's going to be the last one. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, we're going to watch the video first, and then I'm going to talk about it at the end. All right? Let's begin. A fresh strain of the bloom has emerged. The Technophage Outbreak. Worlds infected by this strain are more dangerous, featuring new warp storms as well as greatly enhanced Nurgle forces. However, with every risk comes a high reward. Caches of Archaeotech, a valuable treasure to the Adeptus Mechanicus, have been discovered in the Tatea Sector. This powerful new resource can be traded to upgrade the combat abilities of your Dreadnought and Tech Marine. Recover an additional vessel, the Gladius Frigate. When acquired, you can dispatch your most trusted Grey Knights on missions farther afield to halt the bloom spread across the sector. Unleash the might of the Emperor's finest, for the war against chaos is eternal. I right, hope you guys enjoyed the video, the trailer for the Technophage. Now, the Technophage, it looks like it's going to be a new version of the Bloom. It's basically, let me just need that. It's basically going to have, uh, I would say, more hazards to it by the sounds of it. I saw a live stream on Twitch a few days ago. You can check them out on their own channel. Uh, I recommend you watch it. I'm not going to cover it myself because. They did a good job of covering, I think, and I, the last time I did live stream, it was very, very long and a lot of work for me. It got a few views, but it didn't really, like, put me out there, like, like it didn't go over the top, like, oh, like, 80 subscribers from it, like, no, nah, it's got, like, a couple of likes from it, but it wasn't worth the extra effort I had to put into it, but, um, this is pretty, so we got, like, a new symbols here, yeah. But yeah, doing trails like this is pretty... I think that's that's good enough, yeah. Um, yeah, we got new symbols. And like, passing through a warp storm has an... Uh, okay, so... New problems with warp storms and stuff like that. It's just basically the same game, but different problems. And you here see some of the more enhanced units. You can see their... Uh, let's go back a bit. Uh, you can see their... They're different guns. They got like more specialist weapons. It could be more dangerous than they were before. That's pretty good. I can't wait for that. Uh, and uh, you also get this new thing like Illyrium. Like, I f not Illyrium, but it's sort of like, you know, like meld from the XCOM enemy within. If you want it, you gotta have to get to it before it explodes. Uh, yeah, and they got a nice little animation for it. I thought that looked cool. Uh, let's pause it. So it looks like we got Precise Strike. We got like a whole myriad of abilities. Stun. Oh, Stun is pretty good. Like, Stun is pretty... I heard Doomfist, like, um, one of the, one of the Gary Knight weapons that didn't make it in was the Doomfist. It was nice for them to implement it into uh, the Dreadnought. And all this also, stun damage, that's really good. You hit off an execution, wipe out a strong enemy, maybe even kick off a whole a series of... And everyone gets AP and like, yeah, yeah. It, it's... If you build it right... Executions and stun damage are, are just so... It's so good. Probably the best things you can get. Like, I, I could tell... I can give a bit of a guide on it. And, like, the coming days, but... Yeah. I recommend stun damage for, for this game. And when without will points, yeah, that's, that's a hard challenge to complete. Because you're so used to using will to get everything done. Uh, especially in the mid to late game. All 
Okay, let's go back a bit. Uh, looks like this head here looks like either a Dreadnought or a Tech Marine. I'm guessing probably a Tech Marine. Alright, so... They got this mission done and they're going to return back to the Bail for Edict in 13 days. And they basically recommend on a live stream you have high level uh, Grey Knights because low level ones will have a great chance to fail. A great chance to fail. But all right, side thing here. Um, I think that's I think that's a good mechanic. I think that's an interesting mechanic. But I'm sort of like against anything where that's not in complete player control. Like anything that's just like a straight roll of the dice, that's to me bad. In a game like this, it should be up to the player for things to go wrong. Like if they like if I didn't put the overwatch up all right or or I didn't do certain things correctly, then it's on me that things got went down of hand. By the same time, this adds a level of chaos to the fights, to the campaign in, in general, that I would have to sort of keep in mind. And it will change my how I do things on the campaign. And it, it could enhance it, it could slow it down. I would have to get my hands on it to like know for sure. Uh, and, oh yeah, the Gladius Frigate, yeah, that's what I was, the entire spiel is about the Gladius Frigate, and having no control over the Gladius Frigate in, when it does this mission, is what some of the things that bothered me about Chaos Gate, Demon Hunters, is that some of the events feel like there should be a tactical mission attack to them, attached to them, but they weren't, they weren't, they were just, um, they were just, uh, a choose your own adventure sort of thing like a probability of seeing these soldiers get hurt or option B there's a high there's a low chance your ship will get damaged like those are okay but I feel like you should have been given a tactical mission as an option do you know you know guys you guys know what I mean like put it in the comments if you know what I mean you know Alright, so at this end screen, there should be something to do with either Chaos Gate or something else on my channel. It probably is. Yeah, whatever best fits your needs. And also, I'll have a playlist of various other uh, trailers in the end screen as well. Uh, go check those out, and I'll see you there.